Hello, welcome to the Paper Snob. This is Tara. Today, I will be working on a layout for the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog, challenge number one. This is my month to take over CKCB, and I have been working behind the scenes, getting blog posts ready and making sure that all of the master forgers have everything that they need to complete this month's kit and the challenges that I have assigned them. So challenge number one is a challenge that I came up with after looking through the embellishments in our inspiration kit. Our inspiration kit is from Tracy Reed Designs this month. It is her Felicity kit. It has some beautiful colors in it and here are some actual two of the actual papers from her kit. <clears throat> this heart or this heart and the plaid. And then she had a similar navy blue and white diagonal stripe, but this diagonal stripe is actually from close to my heart. And these are items that I pulled into my counterfeit kit this month as well as all of the embellishments and stuff that you see here. Now I have these two lovely photo mats here. Those came from the Felicity kit. I have some buttons and some Heidi Swap chipboard, some illustrated Faith labels, and two sets of alphas. One is a beautiful wood grain thicker set, and the other comes from Pink Press Studios Chrysanthemum, and it is a smaller light green alpha. I also have my little baggie of loose embellishments and some puffy stickers, their hearts and stars. So there are some floral pieces in here. There's some um, pocket cards, which includes a journaling card or two in here, plus some embellishments from the original kit. I did, I do own the original kit and there are some beautiful little pieces in this kit and I chose to print off some of the more blue items because I didn't have a lot of blue in my stash to go with this kit. So here are the little bits and pieces that I chose to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. We're going to get started with this layout but first I want to talk to you about the challenge one prompt. One of the items in our inspiration kit had a quote on it and I have asked my design team as well as my guest designer Nikki to create a layout based on this quote. The quote is, bliss comes to us from ordinary moments. That is such a wonderful quote. And my challenge was for you to create a layout about an ordinary moment. And what could be more ordinary than giving your little one a bath, right? So I have my pictures and I have my product that I'm going to play with. And I'm going to go ahead and pause here and we're going to get started. All right. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down my photos just a little bit. They're going to end up being closer to three and a half by five and a half rather than four by six. And I'm only doing that just so that they will fit on those photo mats just a little bit better than they do full size. <clears throat> if I had been thinking, I would have just printed them that size to begin with, but I wasn't thinking about that. I just printed them. I'm going to trim a quarter of an inch from the top and the bottom of the heart paper and I am going to use the striped paper as a mat behind the heart paper but it's not going to go all the way around it's going to be offset. I am cutting down the plaid paper into a six by eight piece and then I'll put the other scraps back into my kit for the month and then um, I'm going to go ahead and start just building this up. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue the heart paper. Like I said, it is going to be offset on the striped paper. I haven't done this for a while, and I kind of like doing this occasionally. It just kind of gives you a little bit of an outline there, and I like how the stripes 
draw your eye towards the left hand side of the page and that means that when I get everything glued down on here more than likely I will glue heavier on the right hand side because you will have stuff that will be drawing your eyes across the page. Now I'm going to be using these beautiful photo mats as mats for my pictures. They're they're just so pretty and I'm glad that I thought to cut out two of them and, and what I have done is I have flipped one of them upside down so that the tabs on are on either side of the um, photos. Now I'm going to end up covering the tab on the right picture because I'm going to put an embellishment cluster down there and that does end up being okay and I kind of like how that turned out. Now, I know that I want to use the wood veneer word, and so I'm going to just set that up there, and I'm trying to just do some layering bits and pieces here. I'm not wanting to create huge embellishment clusters, but I do want a couple, and I think that the way I get them on here works fairly well. I love these little um, flare bits from the original kit. They're fun and they're really easy to use, a lot easier than I thought. I'm going to put a quote over there on the left tab because it just, it looks great there. And now I'm going to cut out my label so that I have a place for my journaling. And I'm just going to kind of look for a place where I want it to go. So I always bring more embellishments and alphas and things over to my recording table than I know that I'm going to use just because I like to have choices. And sometimes as I'm creating, I just end up um, just creating a layout on the fly. And that's kind of what I did here. I, I knew a little what I wanted things to look like, but I hadn't really nailed down my title yet. And I'm going to be using the wood veneer word for part of my title and then the smaller green alphas from Pink Fresh Studio for the rest of my title. And I believe I call it For the Love of Ordinary Moments. And um, of course that fits in with my challenge for CKC and it helps me to use up some of the letters. I am not going to be using those beautiful wood green letters. I think this, this is the second time they've ended up in a kit. And it's the second time that I've not used them. Maybe I'll get to them this month. They're on my desktop again for another layout. So maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I don't know if you guys do that as well. If you um, just give yourself plenty of options when you're making a video or making a layout and then you just use what you use and put up the rest. But that's kind of what I'm doing here. Anyway, like I said, my title is going to be For the Love of Ordinary Moments. I love mixed title or mixed font titles. They're kind of fun and they're eye-catching. And anyway, like I said, it helps me use up some of these letters. I, I do love these letters. Now I'm gonna, you know, nail down where I'm gonna put my journaling um, label. And I think it's gonna end up right where I just stuck it. The last thing I'm gonna add are some of these puffy hearts and that will pretty much be all I'm going to do to this layout. Okay, I got my layout completely glued down. I um, used some foam adhesive underneath these little badges here, but I also allowed my wood veneer to create texture and depth on my layout by clustering my floral bits on top of them so that it looked like there was more um, depth here than there actually is. I have glued everything down. I will admit that I loved having these pre-made um, photo mats here. They were part of the original inspiration kit, which I already said that I own and I just printed them and then cut them out with my cameo the same with the florals and the badges those also came from the original kit um, I got my title down and I love 
that I was able to capture such an ordinary moment in the day of, a, of the life of my granddaughter. Her mom or her other grandma probably took these photos as they were getting her ready for bed. And, you know, ordinary moments can be so important in our lives. And I know that if you are a parent and or a grandparent, you live for those ordinary moments. And they are sometimes the best moments and the smile on this little one's face is just pure joy and that's kind of what my journaling talks about and I am grateful that I get to have her in my life. I do want to thank you so much for being here. You guys are the ones who are helping me to grow this channel without your likes and comments and your thumbs ups. I would not be able to create content here because I would just fall off the YouTube. Um, like, you know, if you don't have enough stuff, people don't see your your channel. And I'm so I'm grateful that you guys are here helping me build this channel. Thank you so much. If you have any comments or questions about this layout or any techniques that I may have used on this layout, just drop those comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I will also link up the counterfeit kit challenge blog, um, April 1st post so that you can understand better what I'm talking about. Um, as far as the counterfeit kit challenge blog, we, um, love to bring you inspiration and help you to shop your stash. And that's what the counterfeit kit challenge blog is all about. Thank you so much for being here and you guys have a great day. Bye.